Today through this video, we are going to learn how to do connection of washing machine. Before moving towards connection of washing machine, let's learn what all electrical components are there inside washing machine. So first electrical component here is motor. Inside this washing machine, two motors are used. First is wash motor and second is spin motor. This wash motor is there for washing clothes. After this, drying of clothes inside of washing machine is done through this spin motor. That is, the drum which is there for drying of clothes, to rotate this drum, spin motor is used. Now see, drum which is there for washing clothes, this drum rotates in two directions. One is clockwise and one is anti-clockwise. To rotate this motor in clockwise and anti-clockwise, a timer is used. This timer is known as wash timer. Friends, in this wash timer, you can see there are two selector switch. One is this and second is this one. Two selector switch are there because if you don't want to rotate this through timer, you want to rotate manually, then by using the selector switch, you can rotate this manually. That is, in one direction you can rotate or you can rotate in another direction. After this, this is our selector switch of timer. Through this, we select time. In some of the washing machines, you will find only one selector switch which is for timer. There is no option for rotating manually in one direction. And from this timer, wire which is coming out is also of different types. In some of the wash timer, you will find 3 wires. In some 4 wires, 6 wires and even 7 wires. So there you should not get confused. If there are 7 wires, then 3 wires are of this selector switch. Connection which I am going to show you is through 4 wire. After this, this spin motor here, to rotate this also a timer is used. This timer is known as spin timer. The time we set in spin timer, according to that only spin motor rotates. Now see, this motor here is of single phase. And to rotate single phase motor, a capacitor is required. So here we are using a capacitor also. This capacitor is a special type of capacitor. That is, there are 4 wires in this for connection. Now how to use these 4 wires for connection, let's understand this. Look, in this capacitor, you will get 2 capacitors. That is, inside this capacitor, there are 2 capacitors, one is of 15 microfarad and other is of 6 microfarad. Now after this, here you can see R is written. R equals to 15 microfarad and B equals to 6 microfarad. It means red wire here is of 15 microfarad and black wire here is of 6 microfarad. Now see here, one who has greater capacitance value will be used for wash motor and capacitor of lower capacitance value will be used for spin motor. Now after this, you must have noticed one thing in washing machine, when we open gate of washing machine, then spin motor or drum which is there for drying clothes get stopped. This work is done through a door switch. That is, a interlocking is there inside a door. When door is closed, then only spin motor will work. If door is not closed, then spin motor will not work in this condition. Now see, when clothes are completely washed in washing machine, then a beep sound comes. This sound comes from a buzzer. Now after this, there is a plug top also through which we give power supply to all these components. Now how we are going to connect all these components inside washing machine, I am going to explain you whole electrical connection. Friends, after watching this video, if you understood how connection inside washing machine is done, then please give like and comment on this video. I always wait for your comments, so please share your thoughts on this video. So friends, first of all, we are going to do connection of these motors with capacitor. Before this connection, understand one more thing. From this motor, three wires are coming out for connection. Like you can see here, here we have three wires. Among these three, one is running wire, one is starting wire and one is common wire. If you don't know which one is running wire, which one is starting wire and which one is common wire, then for this you can use multimeter to find. Now suppose this red wire is of running, yellow is for starting and this black wire is our common wire. Now this capacitor here, wire from lower capacitance value that is capacitor of lower capacitance value, we need to connect this with starting and running winding. So with one wire of capacitor, connect a wire and connect this with running winding. After this with second wire, connect a wire and with yellow wire or starting winding, connect this wire. So what you have to do is connect this capacitor with starting and running winding. Now this blue wire is of capacitor with higher capacitance value. 
So connect a wire from here and we connect these wires with starting winding and running winding of motor. It means what we have to do connect starting and running winding with these two wires of capacitor. So we did connection of motor with capacitor. Now this plug top here from right hand side pin of plug top we get phase supply. So what we will do connect a wire with this pin and in this pin timer with one wire connect this wire. After this with outgoing terminal of this pin timer connect a wire and connect this wire with one terminal of door switch. Friends in this door switch you will find total three terminals but you have to use only two terminals. Now how you will find which terminal you have to use for this use multimeter and check here that which one is ano contact. You will get one common terminal, one NC and one ano contact. Let us suppose this first and third terminal is ano contact. So at one terminal we provided input power supply. Now from third terminal connect a wire and in this pin motor with one terminal connect this wire. That is with running winding connect this wire. Friends when you start motor and at that time you observe that spin motor is rotating in opposite direction then in this condition what you have to do this wire which we connected with running winding remove this and connect with starting winding. Now direction of motor will be changed. After this let's do the connection of wash timer. Before doing connection of this wash timer you must know that how to use these four wires here. So look here you will find four wires among these one will be for input power supply that is we will connect input power supply with this. After this one wire is going to be connected with running of this motor and one is going to be connected with starting. Till now to one wire input power supply and other two wires are connected with motor. After this you will get one more wire this wire will be for buzzer. So I will explain you this wash timer along with the connection. So to provide input power supply to this wash timer from input terminal of spin timer connect a wire that is from here loop a wire and to this wash timer provide input power supply. We considered this brown wire is for input power supply. Now when we set time in wash timer what happen is contact of this changes it changes continuously in between. It give output power supply once in black wire and next in yellow wire. So what you have to do with this black wire connect a wire and connect this wire with running winding. After this with yellow wire connect a wire and connect this with starting winding. What will happen after this if timer works then power supply flows from here and goes once in this wire that is once it will rotate in anti-clockwise direction and after some time power supply will get cut from here and goes in this wire. When power supply goes in yellow wire then wash motor will rotate in clockwise direction. It means for some time it rotates in anti-clockwise direction and for some time in clockwise direction. After this when time is completed in timer power supply which is coming from here it goes directly in output terminal. So connect a wire from here and to this buzzer provide phase supply. Friends don't go according to this color coding. First check through the multimeter then only you should go for connection. Just to explain you I used this color coding. So connection of phase supply here is completed. Now what we have to do to this buzzer and motor provide neutral power supply. To provide neutral power supply in this plug top with left hand side pin this one connect a wire and in this buzzer with second terminal here connect this wire. Now this buzzer got both phase supply and neutral power supply. After this in spin motor to this common wire we have to provide neutral power supply. To provide neutral power supply what we will do loop a wire from here and in this spin motor with common terminal connect this wire. After this to this wash motor also we have to provide neutral power supply. To provide neutral power supply to this what we will do with this common terminal connect neutral power supply from here. So connection of phase supply and neutral power supply is done. After this what we have to do we have to connect both these motors with earthing also. For earthing connection what we will do from this thicker pin connect a wire and with body of wash motor connect this wire. We are using earthing here because if by chance current flows through the body of motor then through this earthing it will be grounded. It means we are saved from electric shock. After this this pin motor also require earthing connection. So what we will do loop a wire from here and connect anywhere with the body of motor. So connection of the washing machine here is completed. Friends I hope you understood how to do connection of washing machine. 
Friends, if you like this video, then please do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.